Here with sophomore Casey Badley, Northwest with two wins today over Dyersburg State. We improved to 16 and 6. A great freshman year for you. You've come back this year. Uh, you've got five wins so far in the circle, but you've really contributed a lot at the plate. Talk about how well you're swinging the bat this year. You're hitting 382, but you're seeing the ball pretty well right now. Yeah, my uh, technique is just see ball hit ball right now. It works a lot better. Uh, talk about this team as a whole. You know, we started off the season uh, with a couple wins, uh, but now we're kind of, you know, climbing up a hill as far as conference play. Uh, we've got two conference games coming in tomorrow, but how can we get uh, things going in conference play? We just got to hit the ball. Once we start hitting the ball, we're going to be fine. You mentioned hitting the ball. It's kind of seems like it's a play going around with both baseball and softball. Uh, have y'all been working on some extra drills and stuff in the cages? That's all we do is hit. And we hit and we hit. And we just need a little bit of luck. And that hitting will catch on. Well, we do hit the ball pretty well sometimes, but I happen to be right at uh, defenders. Well, we had 18 hits in two games today, so the batting average will go up just a little bit. Uh, in your sophomore campaign, it was kind of a question mark if you were going to come back this year. So do you feel like you made the right decision? Uh, definitely. Well, you have a chance. You, uh, you had 17 wins as a freshman. You have a chance to, to go up there in the record books as far as wins and shutouts and strikeouts. Is that something that you thought about at all? Not at all. <laughs> well, that's good. A team player then. Here with freshman Roxanna Kimes, you improved to 6-3 and three with a game one win, a complete game performance. It's your fourth of the year. You're 6-3 and three now in 10 appearances this year, six starts. Uh, just talk about maybe your freshman season and just uh, being able to start off so well. Um, every game I go out there, I'm just trying to get better. I'm just trying to be my best, and I work hard on and off the field, and I'm just trying uh, to help our team out and just – get us where we need to be. You started off 4-0, things were cruising along, and you hit a rough patch, you lost three games in a row, but since then you've turned around and gotten back-to-back -back wins. Is there something, a technique that's maybe changed between the last couple outings? I'm just trying to pick myself up after every time I go out and just trying to uh, improve my pitches and hit my spots better and just, um, just trying to... How big of a change is this from high school to college as far as the, the batters you faced and just the game, the fastness of the game altogether? In high school, I could get away with missing a few spots. Here, I can't. You know, everybody here, they're here for a reason. They all can hit. So, I'm just trying to either pitch around them or let my defense work behind me. Well, you do get the win in game number one. The second game, you sat out, but you uh, batted in the first game. Your average is at 333 on the season right now. As a team, we've just struggled at the plate. And that, that's kind of been, you know, we got 18 hits today. So, that's going to help the batting averages a yeah. little bit. But uh, you did get a... Conference Player of the Week a couple of weeks ago. How big of a, a, an award was that for you? That was an honor. Um, I wasn't expecting anything when I came down here. I was just coming down here to pitch and to keep playing the game that I love. And to be honored with that, you know, I'm grateful. Well, we're 16-6 and six right now. The non-conference wins are great. You know, we're 10-2 and two in non-conference, but the ones that matter are the ones in conference. We're 4-4, four and four, tied with home, so we're in a position now where we really can't afford to lose ten, too many more games. Uh, we have uh, East Mississippi coming in tomorrow. Uh, what do we have to do to somehow get a split or try to pick up two wins tomorrow? We just got to uh, be loud in the dugout and keep picking each other up. And I, I feel like if we're loud in the dugout and, you know, um, we continue to stay positive, we're going to go forward. Well, congrats on the game one win. Again, you improved to 6-3. and three. You have a team leading 1.50 ERA. Pretty sharp to start off your career. So good luck tomorrow, and uh, we'll see you then. Thank you.